Welcome back to the Blue Chip Breakdown of All Fans. I'm your host, Bull. And we're going to be talking about the coaching carousel that's going on right now in college football, starting it off with our very own coach, Jerry Mack, who's the running backs coach for our Vols. Sounds like he's going to be headed to Jacksonville to be an offensive assistant coach of some sort, probably going to be a running back coach on that level. And that's good for him. You know, you're always happy to see your staff members moving on up, okay, especially moving on up to the NFL. I think that's a really good look, uh, you know, for our ent entire program. But also, it's, you know, kind of a double-edged sword because he was a really good football coach, and I think that he's going to be mixed. You know, we saw him develop several players, and it was really easy to see how much these guys transformed themselves into some really good running backs up under Coach Max tutelage. But there are some other coach names that have kind of been thrown out there early on, and let's start talking about who those candidates could possibly be. First one is Larry Porter. Now, he's a running backs coach at North Carolina, and you can see that, you know, he played at Memphis, so he knows Tennessee. He's from Mississippi, so he knows the South well. But as you're kind of going through his tenure as a coach, you're seeing some pretty good schools in there, right? So Oklahoma State, LSU, Arizona State, Texas, uh, you know, obviously North Carolina. He was there twice, and Auburn. And, uh, you know, his overall head coaching record was 3-21, and 21, and it looks like that was all at Memphis. Next option is Kevin Smith. Now, he's a little bit younger. I think that that could be a good thing for us. Uh, you know, I feel like these players do relate a little bit better to the younger coaches, but there is a lot to be said about relating to more of a father figure as well. And he's from Miami, so if he knows Dade County and Broward County well, he would be worth it just for that, okay? I think that the biggest thing that we should be looking for is somebody who can recruit because all these guys are going to know the running back position well they've all played it and you know I think that that just kind of goes without saying but can you go out and help us close out on some elite running back talent that's the biggest thing for me anyway now you take a look at his coaching tenure okay Central Florida uh, you know he's got some more South Florida stuff Ole Miss uh, you know obviously Miami as well so I really like him as a prospect to be our next running backs coach and last but certainly not least is Maxwell Thurman he is a senior offensive analyst for our Vols currently. And you can see right here that, you know, his coaching tenure hasn't necessarily been great. Okay, it's not a whole lot of high-level schools on there, but that doesn't necessarily mean a whole lot. If you can coach, you can just coach, period. Sometimes the guys are just waiting for the right opportunity. And he was with us back in 2022 when we had a really good offense. We had some great running backs. So hopefully he's picked up some things from Jerry Mack, and that could be very beneficial just to kind of keep things status quo. All right, and I'm not sure how long this coaching search is going to take Coach Hypo to do, but I would definitely anticipate that probably by spring practice, which is in March, that we should have somebody in the boat, okay? And again, I'm kind of leaning more towards it being Max Sturman just because of the continuity of the whole thing. But at the same time, I would not be surprised to see somebody that we didn't even list off be the new running backs coach for our volunteers. So a lot of interesting things right there. Now, the next coaching change is, UCLA's head coach and Chip Kelly is now going to the Ohio State Buckeyes to be the offensive coordinator. And number one, okay, I know that y'all want to talk about what players can we get from UCLA. And um, I've looked at the roster. I don't really see anybody that we would want to try to go out and target. We know that we probably would want to try to upgrade at the left guard position. And I just don't see anybody on that team that Tennessee is going to be trying to get. So they'll probably stay put for the most part, okay? Maybe some other programs or something might like some of their players, but there's nobody that Tennessee would need as far as I could see. But I also think this is a home run hire for the Buckeyes. So I've kind of moved past, uh, and this is something that Pete and I was just talking about, but I've kind of moved past just looking at the SEC. And um, I'm looking more to who could the competition be in the playoffs because I really think that this roster is that special. And um, Ohio State right now is looking very strong, okay? They're loaded with talent, and they pretty much have been but I think that it's a little bit different now. I feel like they're even more loaded. And the biggest issue for them, as far as I can see, has been Ryan Day. I don't think that he's a great coach, okay? He does a good job of going out and getting really good players, but I think a lot of that is just the brand of the Buckeyes, and it just kind of goes without saying that good players are always going to want to go there. Um, but I don't think that he's a very good coach, and I think that that's why he lost to Michigan for the past two seasons. And also, what you're seeing is, you know, the Ohio State fans are rabid right now because Michigan's coming off of Again, beating them twice, but at the same time, they just won a, a national championship. So now they want to go out and get them a national championship. You see that they're going all in with NIL and bringing all these great players. Going out to get Chip Kelly, to me, again, that's a home run hire because Bill O'Brien, honestly speaking, is just not a good coach. And I don't know how he keeps on getting uh, offensive coordinator 
positions or even head coaching jobs. He's been fired like everywhere that he's been since I feel like since I've been born, right? Like he always gets fired, but somehow he keeps on getting new jobs. And that was the thing for me that I looked at the Buckeyes and I said, well, they're not going to be that good because they've got Bill O'Brien calling the plays and he's just not good at it. But now that they've got Chip Kelly, okay, a uh, Chip Kelly that is going to probably be a lot more humbled after not being very successful in the NFL or at UCLA. He knows the Pac-12 very well. And then, you know, we've got the big time Pac-12 teams coming to the Big Ten. So I think that he'll be able to get that offense going. And, you know, it could be a problem for the rest of college football, but we'll keep a close eye on it. And at the end of the day, y'all still think that our balls can take it to them, okay? In a 60-minute one-on-one rock'em, sock'em session, I still really like our balls' eyes uh, whenever it comes to that. Now, the last thing that we're going to be talking about is Kirk Herbstreet talking to Dylan Rayola's dad about going to the Nebraska Cornhuskers. And Georgia fans are making a huge deal about this, but I don't think that it's a very big deal because even though Kirk Herbstreet is an ESPN analyst, he still can, you know, try to guide these kids with what he believes is the best decision for them moving forward because he did play quarterback, okay? So I don't see anything wrong with that. And honestly speaking, that was the best, uh, you know, choice for Dylan. Like, why would you want to go to Georgia when Kirby Smart has a terrible track record with five-star quarterbacks? I just don't get that. And uh, I can tell you this personally, and I won't go too, too much further than this, but Dylan did not leave because of Kirk Herbstreit. For, so for all you Georgia fans that are mad at him, don't be mad at him. You need to be more mad at the staff for not doing what they're supposed to be doing on their end. But that's going to be it for this video. We'll probably have some more things coming out today or tomorrow because it is Super Bowl weekend. Probably be on here with P, uh, maybe with Bray and with Kaysen. But as always, thank you so much for tuning into the channel. And please make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you all in the next one. Thanks. Peace.